Welcome to Bold Guy DIY. In this video, I'm gonna tell you all about how fuses work and how they protect the electrical circuits all around you. So fuses are an overcurrent device that work similarly to breakers in that they open a circuit or interrupt it when there's too much current flowing through. However, they're quite differently constructed than breakers. The main difference between the construction of a breaker and the construction of a fuse is that a fuse is really conductive material that burns away or burns up when too much current is flowing through it. Instead of a breaker, which allows current to flow through and the thermal part of it senses beside the current that's flowing, in this case, the current is flowing through the fuse and so when there's too much, it just burns up. In order to prevent the melted material from causing a fire or from hurting the person around it, there's usually a glass or ceramic coating or casing around the fuse. Now fuses are found in everything from small electronics to vehicles to homes, although not used in homes very much anymore. And they're also used greatly in large industrial applications. Now the main detriment to a fuse is that it's not resettable like a breaker. So when that material has melted away and the fuse has tripped or failed, it no longer can be used again. This is a really important thing and why they've gone away from fuses in your home because if you're out of fuses and you can't turn your circuits back on in your home, you're gonna be stuck in the dark or with appliances or things that aren't working properly. By having a resettable breaker, it instead allows you to fix the problem and then reset the breaker so that it's not going to trip again. This is much more useful and repeatable in a home type environment. However, in some applications, a breaker is too bulky or you don't really want a situation where there's a switch that someone can turn on and off. And so a fuse is a great device it's simple, it's cheaper, and it gets the job done. In an industrial or home environment, a fuse is similar to a breaker in that it's not there to protect the appliance or whatever's connected to the circuit as much as it is to protect the conductors or wires themselves. That's the purpose of a fuse as overcurrent protection. But in many other things, like in your vehicle or in electronic environments or things like that, the fuse is there to protect the equipment as well as the circuit. So it functions in a dual way to prevent damage from being done that could possibly cause a component to fail. Because fuses come in so many different shapes, sizes, and colors, there's a few things you need to know in order to get the proper replacement for a fuse. The first one is the form factor or the size and shape of the fuse. Normally fuses are not interchangeable with other models and styles. So it's important that you have the right size and style for the fuse holder. The second most important thing on the fuse is the current rating in amperes. That lets you know what amount of current the fuse is rated for and where it will start to act. Now fuses can also be instantaneous or time delayed. The instantaneous models will trip as soon as the rated current has been exceeded and the time delayed ones will begin to, to act once the current threshold has been exceeded. But depending on how much it exceeds by and uh, how much current is really flowing will determine how quickly the fuse will blow. In other words, it's got a little bit of grace before it will actually trip. These types of fuses are often used, especially where there's uh, surge loads, like things like a motor starting, which could cause the current to be exceeded, but only for a short period of time, and you wouldn't want the fuse to blow in nuisance trip. The one final rating that is important in fuses and is going to be pretty standard for the application is the rated voltage for it. Because voltage and current together combine the total amount of power that's used, if you have a fuse and you use a much higher supplied voltage to it than it's rated for, it's going to trip before it reaches the full current value. This is because the resistance in the fuse is going to be heated much more quickly with a higher voltage and the current is going to flow, causing it to melt the fuse quicker. In short, make sure that the fuse is the right size and shape, that it's the right rated current, and also the right rated voltage. This will protect the device, make sure that the fuse lasts as long as possible, and will keep it safe and not gonna be loose 
or improperly fitted. One other thing to remember is that you don't want to increase the size of a fuse without knowing that the rest of the circuit is going to be okay with that because that's a really easy way to melt components or damage electrical circuits and equipment. Use properly rated fuses and don't exceed the manufacturer recommendations. I think that's almost everything you need to know about fuses in your home and daily life. If you have other questions, leave me a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. Or if you have a question that you'd like answered on another topic of electricity, be sure to let me know that as well. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and until next time, in all your DIY projects and your quest for greater understanding, don't be afraid to be balder.